Hi everyone, welcome to Ant's Country Life. Today's video I'm going to show how we'll gather the silage out of the field once it's been cut and get it transported back to the farm and put into the silage pit. Um, it's quite a quick process now but years ago it used to be a process that used to take us two to three weeks doing little square bales which is no longer uh, financially viable to do. So this video will show the process and how quick it is now and I hope you enjoy it. These are the small bales that I was talking about earlier and there's a farm down the road that still bales these in the traditional way. This was a little David Brown tractor that we used to use as well um, to get all the square bales in and cut the grass and bale it and all. As you can see it's uh, had a few years worth of work but it's still still going at the moment. She's alive again Ben! <laughs> She lives on. Get in. So as you can see, this machine here, this tractor here, and what he's doing is uh, he's putting four rows into one which makes it easier for the forager to pick it up and uh, put it all in the trailer. So this is the modern way that they do silage. Um, this JCB here has a rake on the front and uh, the grass is cut in the field and what they do is um, they bring it in trailers, tip it in the yard here and then he pushes it up inside the shed that you can see there. Uh, and then they roll it flat with the machinery and that compacts it and stops it from rotting over the winter. Um, and we'll see as we go on the process, it's, uh, it's really good. So as you can see, driving the tractor up onto the silage compacts it and uh, pushes all the air out and stops it from uh, decomposing and rotting over the winter until the cow is needed again. there it's a fair old amount of grass to come off uh, in one go and then that gets pushed up into the hair and uh, compressed this is the fella here coming
board with Charlie. I grew up with Charlie on the farm. And uh, hello, hello. Morning, Charlie. Hello. What do you think of this? It's good. Very uh, wet. Very wet. There you go. We've had a lot of rain uh, this uh, spring and summer, and uh, they're struggling to get silage off the ground. Good crop, Charlie, or not? Good crop. Good yes, crop. Good so crop. that that makes up for it a little bit. But uh, the machinery's finding it very, very hard, and you can see by very all the marks in the field. Very heavy machinery for the soil. Yeah, yeah. A lot of compaction. Yeah. So it's uh, silly season at the moment. The sun's out and everybody's wanting this cut, Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. Got to make hay when the sun shines. Yeah, good one. Make hay when the sun shines. Just full, Charlie. I don't think we're quite full, but we would never have made it up that bank. Ah, uh, right, I've got you. So, uh, all of the men trying to limit the damage we're doing. Yeah, yeah. So, we used to do the, the farming with the little uh, square bales, and uh, now the machinery's grown. And uh, do you think that's a lot of the reason, Charlie, why the fields are struggling to cope? Well, I just think uh, the climate, when there's change. Remember, we used to spend days and days along them top hay fields doing little square bales and uh, fantastic sunshine. And uh, now, when the kids break up, it, we just don't seem to get that six weeks sunshine anymore, do we? No, 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 how much goes into the pit? Uh, it's about 80 acres. Ah, right. Um, so we should uh, back at the day award this to take a new uh, oh, three weeks. weeks. Three weeks at least, yeah, yeah. With plenty of help, I think we'll go down this track here to avoid any more damage to the soil. And there goes Charlie with another load of uh, silage. Now this Charlie here, he's got something for us. Hello oh, Charlie. Hello, hello. It's a right? helium balloon that's just been picked up out the field, released into the air, wishing someone a happy birthday months ago. Um, and it would have gone into the cow silage and it's obviously uh, really bad news uh, for the environment. So the answer is Charlie? Don't release Don't helium release balloons. release helium balloons, you're right lad. They might look innocent when they fly in the air, but. It's where yeah, they end up that causes the bother, isn't it? Good man. Yeah. Cheers, Charlie.
these are the belted galloways on the farm and as you can see they're overlooking the process of the silage getting taken in ready for the winter feed as you can see that's the pitfall um, they put the plastic sheet on and then they weigh down with bales and tyres and what have you just to make it airtight and that uh, seals it and stops it from rotting before they use it again in the winter keeps all the fresh and goodness in, uh, inside the pit Thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and put on your notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. And once again, thanks very much for watching.